So after seeing the photograph, I went and saw Fantasy Island, uh, the new Bloomhouse film that is an adaptation, horror movie adaptation of the classic 1970s TV show Fantasy Island. I never thought I'd see a horror movie adaptation out of Fantasy Island, but well, here it is. Um, I don't know how, but it, it's kind of funny. It's like, why the hell do a Fantasy Island horror movie? Like, there's not many people that are going to go see this other than people that are older than me or, or older, like half the people that are going to see this movie. I guarantee the audience I was with have never even seen the show or even know it existed. Like, like why bring back this property? It's not that well known, well loved, but whatever. Um, I was not against the idea when I heard it. I was like, when I first read the, the idea, I was like, really? We're doing a... But I'm like, alright, maybe you can do something cool and fresh with it. Then he saw the trailer and you're like, well... It don't look very fresh at all. It looks like your stereotypical horror movie. Doesn't look really that impressive. It's just whatever. Um, and the reviews for this movie haven't been very good at all. Like, holy shit. I've heard nothing but negative things about this movie going in. It's one of those... It, it's one of those movies that... I, I got the tickets for this movie uh, at the same time as the photograph. And I had about an hour to kill between two mo both movies and this is the first time in a long time maybe ever where i co honestly contemplated just going home <laughs> like i was like do i really want to see this this i really want this, this is gonna be shit and you know it's gonna be shit but I'm like but then in my back of my head I'm like maybe it'll be entertaining shit it, it, you know maybe it'll be kind of fun to watch um I don't know. Maybe it'll be a pleasant surprise. You know, there's always that. I don't want, I'm in the belief, and I agree with 100% a lot of people say, can't judge a movie until you see it. So, yeah. I was like, I'm seeing everything that's coming out, and this is going to really bite me on the ass, but whatever. Uh, what did I think of Fantasy Island? It's bad. It is bad. It is really, really bad. It's not the worst horror movie I've seen all year, but it because it is entertainingly bad. I did get some enjoyment out of this movie, even if it was unintentionally. Uh, I I didn't hate this movie. I like said so this isn't the turning. The turning is way fucking worse. Just stuff like the turning, Gretel, Gretel and Hansel. I could I'd rather watch this than Gretel and Hansel. At least like the, something happens in this fucking movie. Um, what's another bad horror movie I've seen? There's been too many. Uh, Grudge, honestly, it's a tie between this and The Grudge. Like, I don't know. The Grudge had some, had its moments. Honestly, I'd probably say maybe a lot of you watch The Grudge more than this. But, I don't know. But yeah, I, I didn't hate it. Like, it's not the worst thing out there this year so far. Like I said, the turn, it's not even the worst horror movie so far. Um, I can name some positive things. I like Michael Pena in this movie. I did, as Mr. Rourke. He was the only fleshed out character, I, uh, like, somewhat fleshed out character in this whole fucking movie. Like, actually given kind of an arc, um, and kind of give him a little bit of a backstory, and not just a fucking, uh, cookie cutter character that you see in a fucking horror movie. Uh, you kind of understand somewhat his motivations, even though some of the other stuff going on around him doesn't make any fucking sense. But, uh, yeah, I like Michael Pena. And he was doing, like, a decent impression of, like, the guy from that originally played Mr. Work. I forgot who the hell played. Somebody in the comments can tell me. Like, I didn't grow up watching. I. I was born in 88. I didn't realize this show was on for seven fucking years. I'm like, wow. That was on for seven years? Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, I liked him in it. Um, you also got Michael Rooker. I didn't know. I don't know how many people knew that was he was in this movie. I didn't until I saw his name pop up in the um, credits. And I was like, ooh, Michael Rooker's in this movie. And... Of course, he's playing the crazy guy. I was like, he's either playing the crazy guy. Well, at first, I was like, oh, he's the villain. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's the villain. But no, he's playing the crazy guy. I was like, well, it's either him playing the crazy guy or playing the villain. And I guess he just, there's no in between with him. Uh, and 
he's not in this movie much, but it's like he was he was kind of fun to watch. It give him somewhat a backstory. Um somewhat. Um I mean, they give these characters somewhat of a vast start, although just the acting, the acting and just the uh, material is not very good. Um, the main actress, fuck, I could not stand her character, uh, who was, uh, what's the girl's name? She's the lead girl in uh, True for Dare. This is from the director of True for Dare. So that could tell, should tell you all you need to know about Fantasy Island. I hated her character. Like, she's just a stereotypical teenage or I don't know, college girl. I, mean, I can't say teenage girl because she's probably in her thirties, close to her thirties. Um, who is like, oh, the self? We have no cell phone service. Ugh. Or uh, like, uh, what's your fantasy? Or do you want to have sex? Like, that's like half her character dialogue in her fucking beginning of the movie. Like, that is not the worst characters in the movie. I I'll say that, take that back. She isn't the worst character in this movie. The worst characters in this movie go to the brothers in this fucking movie. The brothers in this movie are their stereotypical bros. They used to, like, I, as soon as they pop up, they're literally brothers in this movie. One's, and, you know, and they all pretty much could. Pretty much, or ha almost every line in the movies ended with "bro, bro, bro, bro." You like every time I saw him on screen, I go "bro." <laughs> like I kept going "bro." They're a bunch of bros. <laughs> uh, they are just like your stereotypical macho characters that you see in these kinds of movies. They're just man. They set men back like a hundred a million years uh, like they're the machismo like bro 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 and like oh don't worry they're diverse the one brother is Asian and he's gay I'm like ooh <laughs> like I was like god uh, like their whole all they want to do their fantasy is all they want to do is have everything and so they end up going to their fantasy and there's a big giant party being thrown and with supermodels and stuff like that and because the one's gay there's a bunch of men and speedos and shit like that of course uh and then there's the one woman who she has a life full of regrets and doesn't uh she it tells the story about how she uh, turned down a wedding or a marriage proposal from her boyfriend at the time, and she regrets it, and she gets a chance to redo it and see what her life could have been. And honestly, her character's not bad, uh, played by Maggie Q. Uh, I thought her character wasn't that bad. Out of all the acting in this movie, she wasn't the worst, so I'll give her that. Uh, one of the worst acting performances was the guy who was the other guy who wanted to be a his fantasy wanted to be in the military and man his acting was pretty fucking bad like he is supposed to have these emotional scenes and like he has the emotions of a fucking of a, a fucking uh, what rag uh, and oh my god he's not very good that guy's not very good at all um what else about this movie I want to talk about? Uh, this movie is falls under... It's not really even a fucking horror movie. It isn't. And it isn't and it isn't at the same time. Because it's just... It's like a bunch of different fucking things going on at the same time. It's fucking a mishmash of shit. Uh, like, there's like... It does fall under st the stereotypical tropes of all the... Like, jump scares, especially with all these weird people working at the fucking island and, like, how weird they look. Uh, and some of the creatures and some of the monsters that you see in this movie. Um, like, the fucking, at one point, like, keeps looking like the island is, like, dripping blood, but it's like this black water and it's like a weird ass plot with that as like oh, what the hell is this fucking the black christmas remake i'm like what the fuck is this shit um and it kind of has to do with the island and shit like that the water that they see that's being dripped and yada 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 
Uh, this movie is one of those movies that there's a lot of twists that happen at the end of this movie, and there's a final twist that made me feel fucking stupid because it's a twist that's so fucking obvious that I should have fucking figured it out a long, long, long time ago. And when I didn't and it happened, I was like, I feel fucking retarded for not guessing that. Um, it's basically involves like who is really behind all this and like why these people are there. There's a certain reason why all these people are there. And you find out at the very end, it's like, man, that was so fucking obvious. How the fuck did I not figure that out? I felt really stupid for that. Um, and then... There's also this fucking... The final line in this movie. Oh my god. The final line in this movie. The final line in this movie made me go... <laughs> like so loudly in the theater. I groaned. It's like a callback to a character from the original TV show. It's such a fucking groan worthy line. If you know the TV show. And I don't... I didn't watch it. But I know of this character... And I just, like, sat there, rolled my eyes, and, like I said, Ugh, so loudly in the theater. I groaned. It was so dumb. I hated that. I really hated that. Um, it is what it is, Fantasy Island. It's dumb. It is really dumb. But it is entertainingly dumb. I can't say I hated it. Uh, I had somewhat of a fun time. Uh, like, just how dumb these characters were, especially the bros. Bro! 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 Um, but, yeah, I can't recommend seeing it in the theaters. Maybe check it out if you're curious to see how bad it is. I don't know if it's on Netflix or on TV or on cable. I wouldn't run it, even. Um, there was no tr new trailers for that. I was too busy when the trailers were going on ordering food. <laughs> I'm not making that up. I was like trying to order food before the movie started uh, so I could pick it up when I got, got the movie, movie was over. Uh, but I didn't get anything new. Uh, pretty much all the horror movie trailers of the movies coming up uh, the next couple months, of, like including Saw and shit like that. Um, but yeah, that's as far as trailers. I am still going to go see, still gotta go see Parasite. Uh, it, like I said, it finally came to my movie theater. Uh, I don't know why it took this fucking long for it to come out, but it did. Uh, so I will be seeing that probably tomorrow and have a review up sometime this week. Uh, but until then, I will talk to you guys later.